Hey, comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer. Get ready to do comic book haul week number 122. That's right, fans. And starting now, I'm going to add a new little feature to the comic book haul. And I'm also going to announce what my favorite cover of the week is with all the comics that I purchase. Since I go into such description about each comic uh, that I purchase for the week and I go detail in the covers, by the time I get done showing off my comics, I'm going to show you what I think is my favorite cover of the week. And then what I would like you guys to do, if you have time, of course, is uh, just put down what you think your favorite cover of the week is. So I just thought it would have a little bit more... Um, uh, viewer interaction there and I mean you're interested to see what your guys art style is and things like that so with that being said let's get started with comic book haul week number 122 not a huge book uh, amount of books this week but I feel that the reading quality is going to be there this week so here is the infamous bag that we get at the comic store each and every single week that I just take it off and throw it on the floor and I say goodbye bag Let's begin this week's comic books. All right, so we start off with a promotional card. And this is um, Outcast by Image Comics. It's a promotional card here. Um, this one is done by Robert Kirkman. And as I can't say the gentleman's last name, uh, but it's a double size first issue. Uh, it's 42 pages for uh, only $2.99, and this comes out in June, so I'm interested to see what this book has to offer, so I'm definitely going to be reading uh, this first issue, so that's the little promotional card there. Uh, next, we have Original Sin promotional poster, uh, and this is Hulk vs. Iron Man issue number one. I love the like Silver Age, old classic feel to this uh, this poster here. And it's written by uh, Mark Wade uh, And uh, Karen and Gillen, who's not my favorite writer, and it has to do with Iron Man, so I'm not sure what's going to go there. But Mark Bagley and Luke Ross. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be interested in this title when it comes out. But I like the way this cover is drawn or the way this, this is drawn. Uh, hopefully I'll have enough space to put it here. Now that I only have like half the space, uh, I'm going to have to switch some things out. Uh, and then I got for the other side uh, of that poster, I got another, you know, got the other one and got Original Sins. Uh, so I got this part of the poster too. Uh, and as you can see, I already have this part up. So I might go ahead and put this side up of it as well. So, uh, yeah, so we got the promotion, promotional poster for that. So now we're going into this week's comic books. And the first book that I got this week uh, was Original Sin, issue number three. Three of eight. We're approaching the halfway point here. Again, I continue to love these covers of this series. Uh, it's got that old school feel, just like how Nick Fury was on the last uh, cover this time you have Iron Man and he's like wearing this jacket and uh, it says answers at all costs and we got the reveal of who the villain was uh, and and I heard some big shit happens in the last page of this book and I cannot wait to review this uh, this will be the first book that I review and it will be on this channel this time around so uh, stay tuned for this review immediately after this haul and I can't wait to read this book but uh, great series so far a good event different event and original uh, and I'm not trying to copy the title it just happened to come out of my mouth so enough of that uh, we will go on to the next title uh, and the next title is the new 52's future end uh, interesting cover here um, it looks like firestorm whatever big cloud I don't know what's happening in this issue uh, maybe it has to do with Firestorm. Who knows? Uh, this this series is very slow right now. Uh, you know, you get the introduction of what happens in the future, obviously, with issues 0 and 1. And now you're getting a lot of, like, little character development. And I, I, I feel that the problem with this series, and I didn't get a chance to say it last time in my countdown, is that... I think they really need to sell these characters in this series for people to really like it. 
and I don't think they're doing that great of a job on it. Uh, and that's just my opinion, obviously. But, however, I'm going to stick to this event through its end because this is a very important event in the DC Universe. So, I'm going to see where it goes. And, of course, there's going to be fillers. There's going to be slow issues. But, yes, there will be good issues, too. I'm just waiting for that first really good issue since the launch of the series. So, this is New 52's Future End, issue number five. All right, next we go on and we go on to Miles Morales. The Ultimate Spider-Man, issue number two. Uh, last issue here, uh, we basically got to see that, hey, Peter's back. But we're not sure if it's really the, the real Peter here. It's a clone. Something's not right. Uh, you know, everyone's been speculating on who this Peter Parker is going to be. And hopefully in this issue, we'll find out who Peter Parker is or isn't. So, uh, interesting cover here, too. You got Miles putting on the costume. You got Amazing back here in the background. So, uh, we're going to see what's up here. Uh, but, very, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. And, uh, and there is never a dull issue with this series. I really enjoy this series. And I really love Dave Marquez's art in the series as well. So, this is Miles Morales, The Ultimate Spider-Man, issue number two. All right, moving forward, we're going to go to Xenoscope Entertainment book. Um, this is Grim Fairy Tales issue number 98. Only two more issues to the big 100 where the universe changes forever and no one is safe. People could die and we get introduced to a whole bunch of new characters. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens here because based off of the last issue, we got introduced to the Tooth Fairy. Uh, this time it looks like it's going to continue off of Sailor's story and what happens here leading up to number 100. Uh, this cover here has Sailor laying on the ground uh, and someone is finding her. Uh, so how does that all transpire in this actual book? Not sure, but of course I'm always anxiously awaiting to reading this series. So this is Age of Darkness, Grim Fairy Tales, issue number 98. Alright, next is a new story arc for DC's Green Arrow, and this is issue number 32. Title is otherwise known as Broken. Great title to this, you know, to this story, it looks like, based off of the cover, too. Uh, here you got Oliver McQueen, uh... You know, laying on the floor, broken in pieces, and then you see images of other characters in there. Very creative cover. Uh, series overall is really good. Um, a lot of people say that it's really dark. Yes, it is. Uh, however, for me, Jeff Lemire has done a great job in this series. And um, I can't wait to read what's changing here. And hopefully the, the story takes place more in Seattle now. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to read Green Arrow issue number 32. All right, going forward. Next is another Xenoscope book, and this is otherwise known as Godstorm. Uh, this is the Age of Darkness. Uh, I think this is the one shot, or this is the last issue of it. Um, beautiful cover. Uh, I'm not going to lie here. This is a gorgeous cover. Now, there's lots of different covers you can choose from. Uh, you know, when you're picking your comics, and this one is is a beautiful looking cover. Love the detail that goes into the character here. Uh, you know, everything about it is just absolutely gorgeous. I am not going to lie here. Uh, and I can't wait to read this. This is uh, $5.99. Patrick Shan is the writer of this title. And this is God Storm. Beautiful. All right, next we have from DC Earth. Two issue number 24. Um, another series from DC uh, that for me has been really good. Uh, this is my favorite title uh, from DC Comics right now. Overall, out of all the issues that I read, this is the most consistent. The artwork is done right. Uh, the covers are great, obviously. And, um, you know, this has to do with, you know, Doomsday or Dark, or Dark Superman and just basically the world coming to an end. Uh, you know, you got Alan Scott back in this, you know, in the series again. And, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this series. Again, there's never a dull issue with this. There's always some kind of progression or great cliffhanger, and it just keeps you at the edge of your seat where you just want to keep reading it. So I think uh, Tom Robinson is – or Tom Taylor, I'm sorry. Got the two mixed up. Tom Taylor is the one that's writing this book now, and ever since he's taken it over, he's reinvigorated it. So I enjoy this immensely. So this is Earth 2, issue number 24. All right, moving forward, we're going to go on to the next ongoing series, 
and that is Batman Eternal issue number nine. Yes, if you guys remember, <laughs> if you guys remember way back last year, um, this was definitely uh, Batman Incorporated, and it was my worst pick of the week. And I'm surprised I didn't rip up the issue. But it had Batman Japan in there. And it had these, like, motorcycle guys wearing these helmets. And this is the most generic character I have ever, ever seen in my life. Who are you? I'm Batman of Japan. I mean, come on, dude. So I remember when he was in the last comic in Batman Incorporated, I'm like, why is he in this? So now I'm interested to see why is he in this again. And uh, <laughs> I am reviewing this book. Um, I think I'm going to be reviewing it on this channel also. Um, I don't have a good feeling about this particular issue. The last issue of Batman Eternal was great. This one, I don't know. And I said it at the end of the last issue. I was like, okay, this last page, it has him in Hong Kong. I'm not feeling it. And, and this is why. So, uh, yeah, Batman Eternal, issue number nine. We'll see where it goes. So, all right. Moving forward now, uh, great cover here. Uh, this is Action Comics issue number 32. This continues the Doomsday uh, thing or the Doom story. It starts a new chapter now. Uh, but this comic, this this cover here uh, is an absolute gorgeous cover. Uh, it just goes back into the old days, uh, you know, Supergirl, and I think it is a pretty cover. Um, I spent the extra, you see what I spent for it, 429 uh, for it, where the book is $3.99. Definitely worth having this in your collection. Uh, you know, if you're an avid collector or a collector of variant covers or whatnot, um, I just put the original cover back. This blows it away. So, um, excellent, excellent cover. Can't wait to see where Doom's or Doom goes now. Wasn't a fan of Chapter 4. Hopefully the story progresses in Chapter 5 or this new chapter, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, so this is Action Comics issue number 32, the bombshell variant. All right. Next we have the Amazing X-Men issue number 8. Don't know what to expect here from this. Uh, this says World War Wendigo. Uh, last issue we had Spider-Man and his amazing friends in it. And I wasn't a huge fan of that book. Uh, just for the fact being that the story obviously wasn't to my expectations. Uh, so maybe now the main story continues now and it has to do with Wolverine. And I'm not exactly sure. Uh, we do have uh, Ed McGuinness uh, back on the artwork in this series again. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it uh, and, and seeing if we can get a solid story moving forward based off of the first story arc. So this is Amazing X-Men, issue number eight. Okay, so coming to the close very soon. Uh, next book, we have The Superior Foes of Spider-Man. I like this cover. I think this is a very original cover. Um, however, <laughs> the shocker here looks like he's a wrestler <laughs> or something. Oh, Rey Mysterio Jr.? I don't know. Um, but I like the cover. You know, I guess that's supposed to be Boomerang there. Um, this book hasn't been out in quite some time. In the past few issues have been really filler. Now, I know the series is ending, so that's why there's no rush to get it out or why the stories haven't been uh, spectacular. Uh, however, I am looking forward to the conclusion of the series and seeing you know, what happens, because I've read issue one, and I've really enjoyed the series in its early issues. So this is The Superior Foes of Spider-Man, issue number 12. Okay. Last but not least, before we get to the cover of the week, uh, and it goes to Snyder, Scott Snyder's and Sean Murphy's The Wake. Uh, yeah, we're coming up to the end of this. We're on the second to the last uh, issue of this series. Uh, it's been out for a while now. The covers have been spectacular. They've been like a movie type of cover. Uh, here you got people in a cavern that look like they're dead, buried, whatever. And you get, uh, looks like we have our hero there um, discovering what's happening. Uh, where the series is going to go, I don't know with two issues left. Uh, we all kinds of got the government thrown in here. We got how the future is, but we don't know how it's going to end and if maybe there'll be a volume two in this series. So this is Scott Snyder and Sean Murphy's The Wake, issue number nine of ten. 
All right, guys. So, what did Mike Spider Slayer decide for his cover of the week? Um, so, I'm looking through these books and I'm looking at them right now. And honestly, I gotta say, it's between these two right here. Um, I think these are both gorgeous covers. Uh, have great detail to both of them. One has this like a silver or golden age type of feel. The other one has that modern real attention to detail something that uh you know zenoscope is known for is for these types of covers uh and so i'm going to give it to action comics issue number 32. uh when i saw this cover at the comic book store today i thought it was actually breathtaking and i really enjoy the way it's drawn and uh this will be in my collection forever no matter how crappy the story might be because it is a phenomenal looking cover so guys there you have it there is your haul for the week there was your cover of the week i hope you add like this added feature to the haul and guys tell me what you got this week in the comments below and what your favorite cover of the week was so guys as always thank you for watching comic book corner 2.0 and until the next comic book review this is mike spider slayer signing off thanks for watching fans take care bye